Hi students, welcome back to Lectures Club. Today uh, we are going to talk about turning off methods of SCR. In the previous lecture, we studied uh, about SCR, the working of SCR, the internal structure of SCR, as well as how we can turn on SCR. But today our prime topic is turning off methods of SCR. So let's uh, start our today's lecture. Now, uh, I hope you people already have watched my lecture on silicon control rectifier. If you didn't watch the lecture, you can see the link above the screen in the suggested videos. You can directly go by clicking on this link. Otherwise, I will put the link in the description box. So what concept you need here? I try to repeat the concept. As we know that if we apply the pulse at the gate, the SCR will be turned on. If we don't apply the pulse at the gate, the SCR will not be turned on. So to turn on an SCR, we need to apply the pulse at the gate. When we apply the pulse at the gate, the SCR turns on and goes from forward blocking region to the forward connection region. Here in the graph, the forward blocking region starts from 0 to VBRF1 or 0 to VBRF2 or 0 to VBRF3. We discussed that if we don't apply the pulse on the gate, then the forward blocking region starts from 0 and ends at VBRF3. If we apply the blue pulse, it means that we applied the pulse greater than uh, 0, then the forward blocking region will be from 0 to VBRF2. And if we apply the more positive pulse at the gate, then the forward blocking region is from 0 to VBRF1. We have already discussed these things. But the important thing here is when we apply the pulse at the gate, the transistor turns on and goes to the forward conduction region. In the forward conduction region, the SCR conducts the current and if we remove the pulse from the gate, the SCR continues to current in the forward conduction region. The reason is that look at this equivalent circuit of SCR. We have already discussed how we can make an equivalent circuit of SCR from this uh, figure to this figure. Let us say we applied this blue pulse on the SCR. What will happen? This NPN transistor will be turned on and current starts moving from the emitter to the base and then to the collector. And then this current will go to the base of this PNP transistor. We have already connected this PNP transistor with the positive pulse of the battery and the NPN transistor with the negative uh, terminal of the battery. So what will happen when this base, the base of this NPN transistor will be turned on when current will, uh, will come from the collector of NPN transistor, the base of PNP transistor will be turned on and then current starts moving from the emitter of the PNP transistor to the collector of PNP transistor and the collector of PNP transistor is connected to the base of NPN transistor. So this NPN transistor keeps on PNP transistor and PNP transistor keeps on NPN transistor. So, then if you remove the pulse from the gate, the SCR will not be turned on because internal feedback mechanism has, be, has been generated because of this. Uh, these two transistors NPN and PNP. So, if we want to turn off a SCR, we need to bring the anode current of SCR below the holding current. Holding current is the minimum threshold current in forward conduction region below which the SCR comes from forward uh, conduction region to the forward blocking region. I mean come back from forward conduction region to the forward blocking region. So every method, either you study method A, method B, method C, method D, whatever your circuit to turn off an SCR. Eventually, you what you are doing, you are bringing down the anode current below the holding current. Otherwise, the SCR will not be turned off. So in this lecture, 
we will talk about the most basic two, two methods to turn off SCR. Hopefully, these two methods will clear your concept how we can turn off an SCR. Then you can uh, study other methods, the circuit will be different, but eventually all the circuits are bringing down the uh, anode current below the holding current. So, let us start our methods. Now, uh, the first method to turn off SCR is anode current interruption method. In this method, what we do, we actually bring down the anode current below the holding current. The first method in anode current interruption technique is series switch. In this method, we connect a switch uh, in, uh, in series to the SCR. This switch is not an ordinary switch, this is an electronically controlled switch which is usually a BJT MOSFET or any other switch. So, to turn off SCR or on turn on and off SCR, we need this switch in series to the SCR. Let us say we used a BJT in place of this switch. When we turn on this uh, BJT, the current will start moving from the SCR. You can see these pink arrows are showing the flow of current from negative towards the positive side. Now, if we want to turn off SCR, what we need to do? We need to turn off this transistor. When we will turn off this transistor, the anode current of SCR will go down the holding current or, or will, go, uh, uh, will go down to 0. When the anode current will go down to 0, definitely the SCR will be turned off. Even in this case, if you apply the pulse at the gate, we know the SCR will not be turned on because the anode current is not connected to the positive terminal of the battery because this transistor is off. To turn on our SCR, we know the conditions. We need a gate pulse as well as the anode current should be, connect, anode, uh, should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and cathode should be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. The second method is parallel switch. In this method, method, we just connected the same switch in parallel to the SCR. Now here, to turn off an SCR, what we do, we basically turn on the switch. In the last method, to turn off SCR, we turn off the switch. Now here, to turn off SCR, we turned on the switch. This switch basically working as a shunt. Now, the resistance of this switch is very, very less as compared to the SCR and almost all the current will move through this the switch or they'll, all the current will bypass through this transistor and anode current will go down the holding current and SCR will be turned off. Now, if we switch off this transistor, the current will move through the SCR. So, if we want to turn off this SCR again, we need to turn on this transistor. So, all the current will move through this transistor as compared to the SCR and SCR and finally, the SCR will be turned off. And now, the second most basic method is forced commutation. In forced commutation, we basically uh, not interrupting the current. Uh, in fact, we forcefully or momentarily br uh, bringing the current down uh, the holding uh, current. In this method, we used here a polar capacitor. When we will turn on SCR, to turn on SCR when we will connect the batteries, what will happen? The current starts moving uh, towards the positive of the battery and also will charge the capacitor. You can see here the arrows are showing the flow of current through the circuit. And we again use the same BJT as a switch. Now, to turn off SCR, we will turn on this switch. When we will turn on this switch, definitely the current starts moving opposite to the current of SCR. The red arrows are showing the opposite current which is 
opposite to the pink current. Pink current is showing the current through the SCR and the red current show, showing the opposite current through the SCR. So, when these two currents are in opposite direction, definitely the resultant current would be less. So, here for we forcefully managed uh, the anode current uh, to be lesser than the holding current. So, these are two methods. Hope uh, you liked the video and understood the all basic concept that how we can turn off SCR. If you uh, like the video, kindly subscribe my channel. So, I will come up with more uh, videos on electronic components and circuits. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Stay blessed.